Hi, I'm Jessie Nas and I would like to show you how to cook mutton gravy, a spicy and delicious mutton gravy and it's Jessie Nas style. And let me show you what are the things to be prepared in order for you to cook. Let's have a look what are those things. I've actually prepared three big onions. I've cut and sliced it like this. I've prepared some chilies about five to six chilies according to spiciness some curry leaf chendol or also called as pandan leaf bay leaf star anise cinnamon cardamom and clove fennel seed powder cumin powder pepper powder cooking oil coconut cooking oil blended chili paste ginger garlic paste tomato paste some turmeric powder chili powder and water so earlier I've put the mutton into the pressure cooker and I've nicely cooked it. I'm going to check and if it's well cooked, you can just continue cooking. And now mine is well cooked. I'm going to continue cook. So I just put it in another bowl and I'm going to place it aside. And now we can start to saute. Heat a pan and get ready your oil. Pour some oil. When the oil heats up, pour all those things like cinnamon, cardamom, clove, star anise, onion, bay leaf. This is we call pandan or chendol leaf, and now saute. You got to do it until it turns slightly brown. And I'm gonna give you a tip here. You could even add some salt inside here at this early stage. And it will help the onion to cook and become brownish fast. Now add on curry leaf and saute. Now you can add ginger garlic paste, I add 2 tablespoons. I've actually put some turmeric inside the ginger garlic paste, so that's why it looks yellow. Mm, there you go, it smells wonderful. Okay, now you can put in the blended chili. This is the chili paste, I add 2 big spoons. I like spicy. So I would like to add more. I add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of chili powder. In the pressure cooked mutton together with the water. I feel like I need more chili, so I'm putting in one more big spoon of blended chili, the chili paste. Now, if you got cashmere chili powder, you can add like me, uh, otherwise it's just optional. You can just go with this chili powder and the blended chili paste. Now mix well, look at the color, perfect, I just like it. So I'm not going to add any more chilies here. This is just nice. Now you can add 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. Now add 2 cups of water. I've used the balanced water from the chili I've blended. And I also used the water from the ginger garlic paste I've blended. You can use some fresh water. Put in 3 big spoon of tomato paste. Now you can add some chilies. I'm adding small chili pepper because I love spicy. Now add in the pepper powder, about 1 teaspoon. 2 pinch of sugar. And now I'm going to add more salt as just now I just add a little bit at the early stage. Well, it's perfect. It's look good. 
there you go now it's time for coconut milk I put in a cup of coconut milk yeah it's turning quite thick and this is the perfect consistency white onion I've bought it outside and I blend it and keep it in one container like this Now let's check whether it has cooked or not. Definitely it would have cooked because we have already cooked it in the pressure cooker and yeah, you see, it's well cooked. So it's time for us to off the stuff and enjoy the meal. There you go. Yummy! And it's going to be finger licking good, trust me. Give it a try. Thank you for watching. See you all in my next video. Bye from Jessinas.